Welcome to Forensic Detectors. I am Dr. Cuz. You guessed me, the guest detector. And today, I am your gas leak detector expert, folks. Check this out. We are in a residential situation. It's a tankless water heater hooked up to the utility, the natural gas methane. And we're going to see if we could find a gas leak. And also, we're going to compare these gas leak detectors so you can look out for various features and sensitivity. So you know what you're purchasing and you know the right questions to ask. Check it out. Okay, folks, we're going to start this comparative test with our FD90E gas leak detector, folks. Okay, so we're going to just adjust that so that the sensor head, which is right there, is plowing through the line, as we could see. You don't want to go too fast. Actually, what I'm doing is a little bit too fast. See the numbers going up there? We do have a gas leak. And you want to actually hold it on the junctions. You don't want to rush you want to actually hold it on the junction if there's nothing there move on now this junction oh there you go we have a leak over 3000 and we've confirmed the leak which is right there okay and if we hold it elsewhere it's going down it's going up again there and we do have a leak folks okay and that's what you want to see when there is indeed a leak. Some leaks are small, may not be high enough to trigger the alarm. So you have to definitely be patient. If you go straight real fast, oh, I don't have a leak. No, you need to go very slowly, especially at the joints, especially at the junctions, wherever there is copper or some junction like we have here. We have a nut and a thread. Okay, so that was the 90E yellow version. Let's move on to the next version. The next is a handheld. Um, gas leak detector from a competitor as you can see right there uh, we should actually zero that before we start there is a zero function here so let's do that and please note what you're gonna say is Dr. Cars yours was reading in PPM this is percent LEL now I've done that deliberately because percent LEL um, is actually not as sensitive as a PPM when we're talking about single digits, folks. So when you do look for a gas leak detector, ask yourself, is it percent LEL or is it parts per million, which is a much more sensitive range? Again, comparing single digit whole numbers. Okay, folks, so we don't see any sign of um, a response. We'll hold it there for a while. I know there's a leak. We already tested it. And there is no no uh, no response whatsoever okay so again this actually may work well percent LEL but it's advertised as a gas leak detector but it's not sensitive enough folks and that's the whole point of this video okay so let's move on to the next gadget the next gadget is these pen types that we see on the market at the end is the sensor and it is a bar graph there are no digits um, so it's a bar graph type of situation and it's warming up at the moment so let's give that a few minutes to warm up okay we're back live and it's warmed up and it's ready to go these pen type again I'm not going to be disclosing the brand or manufacturer I don't want to throw my guys or my competitors under the bus but the point here oh here we go folks here we go this is indeed sensitive. Great little unit. It's picking it up straight away. There it goes. So these guys are also quite nice folks quite nice it is picking it up it doesn't give me a quantitative measure but it is telling me and it's confirming a gas leak quite nice indeed okay let's move on to the next which is the model 90e red version by forensics detectors and let's pop that through oh there go the numbers and there goes the alarm so we are confirming a leak folks okay so there seems to be a leak 
at the junction here. And obviously, the longer we hold it, the higher the numbers are going. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. Smash that like button on our gas leak detector comparison and a simple basic methodology on detecting those leaks. You have to be very patient, folks, and make sure you have the right equipment. We need parts per million, not LEL, as you saw. Okay, folks, till then, be well, be safe, and go easy on those stakes. See you later.